with you coming up with all this art and these collabs. Shout out to Concepts, too, and Dion and all of them. You used to be yeah. popping up with the right people, the right cartoons. And how does yeah. it, well, how does that even start? Okay, well, first <laughs> off, let me, let me start off from the beginning. Um, this was a dream of mine that I had when I was maybe in seventh, eighth grade. I had an affinity of MJ's whole entire line. I had my favorite sneaker were the 10s. Um, wow. My favorite sneakers were the 2s. Um, you know, I had different type of SBs. I had the Jordan 1s, patent leather, you know, okay. Carolina blue at the time. No disrespect to all my Duke fans. But I had, I had an appreciation for just shoes. And then it transitioned into I really started diving into different genres of movies and different genres of art. And it all came at once. I just wanted to continue to learn and grow. So what I did is I, I created this system of, of process art creating in my mind. When I was, had the ability to create something, sit mm -hmm. down, sit, let, let's see what we can create. And I took that same thought process into Nike when they gave me my shoe, you know, to gotcha. be able to have that platform. So when I had my first Kyrie shoe, the first shoe I came out with the dreams and they were black dreams. And it was a combination of all the dreams and different colorways, but the base was black. But now, black. when you think about the color black and the connotation and the meaning behind it of where it comes from and how much it's traveled, it goes to so many different languages of how it's transformed. I think about even language and how it's communicated to the, to the consumer, to the other artists. Black is the great base color, and it all combines all the colors. Oh, oh, they all come to black. Yes. Gotcha. So I wanted to be able to express that, and I took that first shoe about my dreams of Kyrie One, and I went back to Nike, and I just started purging with all the ideas I had with gotcha. Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, um, Basquiat, Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. Um, putting it all into the thing. Yeah, like... I really started Keith Haring, Picasso, and then I really started diving into what those artists did at that time of what the historical context and meaning meant. And then how do I translate that to shoes? It's a big bridge you gotta, gotta That's connect. Lot. That's a lot of dots you gotta connect. Yes, 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 it is, it is. And also there's a political nuance to it too of standing for what you believe in. So I always wanted to use in my art to communicate what I stood for. So that's why I have the all seeing eye. That's why I have esoteric and occult things in it is yep. because there are a lot of fears that go into understanding what religion means and what you life. question. Yeah, and life in general. Life questions, life questions. Yep. So I started to develop as a man. I just had questions and I used art as a communication piece. It's, it's funny, man. I think, and it, uh, we're going to go through a couple more categories and subjects, mm -hmm. but you take everything and connect it back like a painter to a canvas. Like yeah. you throw everything on the canvas and then it creates the everything. Picture. Throw everything at it. So, hey, um, I so what? I pushed that Nike team for those PEs to where I wanted to change the whole entire rule on colors in the NBA. I don't know if you saw that change, no, but I, 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 it fine. I, I just seen it from on court. It's like you got two levels of PEs. One yeah. is on court and then one is at retail. And I said, he got too many of, on both levels. Like, mm -hmm. it's like just, just the, like the number of skews that you put out. And, and like, it's probably another hundred we never seen. Like, that never. No, they'll never be put out. But I was getting fined behind the scenes, <laughs> taking those hits. And wow. it, it, it just the tradition of the NBA was you have the same matching colors or one-off colors. As outfit, as the yeah. uniform. Yeah, just like MJ did when yeah. he had the band sneakers. I just yep. took it to a whole another stratosphere. I, I started coming out with bright yellow when I was on the cabs and like your Chinese New Year's is like oh, I really it. thought you designed them over there and came <laughs> back. That's how like they look literally just like Chinese New Year. Like it's <laughs> like the, the colors and everything, the, dra the dragon, it just it's beautiful. So so that what I would say to that point was I, I always wanted to be inclusive of all communities too. I didn't mm. want to be Stricken to the low geographic of just being American based. I wanted China to be involved. I wanted Japan. I, I wanted to go over there and still have a familiarity because I understand their culture. I have a Chinese monkey on my oh. right arm as I, I won the championship in 2016. It was the year of the monkey. Oh, wow. 
when I went, when I went over there, it was an affinity Then I went over to Japan and Tokyo and it has Kai in the middle of it. And just, it, it, it all made sense. So I was like, man, how do I become more diverse in cultural appreciation? No, I, I seen, I think it was maybe a year or two ago, I was watching your IG and I seen you over there. And I, I said, oh, he about to come back on some stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. I said, y'all, y'all, if y'all don't know what's going on with him right now, I see it. He, he's great. He got a fourth eye now. Get a third eye. <laughs> K, I got a fourth eye right now. <laughs> you know what? So, what's one, what's your favorite collaboration you did though? Do you have a number one? Well, let me look because I, I wrote a lot of things down because I want to make sure I all, like I want to get to the points that are really really important to me. But my my favorite collab was with Siraj out in Jersey which was the I Love You Moms that he did um, in terms of really showing the journey that it took when you lose a loved one. And, you know, I, I really want to take time to reach out to all those that have lost someone very close to them. Um, I lost my mom when I was four. I lost mine three years, like three years ago. Yeah, man. And I, I, feel, I feel you for that. And it's, just, it's so hard to recover after that. And I don't think you ever really recover. I say, yeah. I say it's kind of like, Life is a flat tire when somebody dies. You could be driving, and then it just hits you, and you just got to deal with it. Yeah, and and that's uh that's what that's when your fears really come to fruition. Yeah, and you and and that's when a lot of things start changing and transformation happens, which has been happening for me. Even the last few months was once Co passed. Gigi and all the the families that passed, and then my grandfather. trying to figure out how do I heal from that? Totally. How do I okay. heal from that? You know, it's the hardest thing, but when you have great friends and you have great family and they're the support, sometimes even that isn't enough. Uh, yeah. Through phases of just art wasn't the same for me. Basketball wasn't the same for me. Nothing wasn't the same. No, and, and now I'm finally, finally, this time right here has been a great time to just be with myself and center myself. Totally. And understand what means to me, but I don't want to go into that. But that's 24 years when my mom passed to that collaboration still coming into being, and then also concept with the Egyptian culture. Yep, totally. Yeah, I, I think when I, when I when I seen you, that's when I said I already been knew you had it, but I said I love seeing people. You know, how somebody they already got it, but then they make another step, and you like he really got it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, yo, that was when, and I've been I've been rocking with concept. Tarek and Dion and all them guys for years, and I was yeah, super happy. Them, Much less than totally. So let's go into another genre of art, man. Mm -hmm. I I remember, I was like, this kid's an A and R, basically <laughs> music. So just from the fact of a couple conversations we had, and I was like, you know how you be everybody just the the current like yo this new album, and you you dig deep in the music mm -hmm. lyrics, you up here reciting. Like genius, the website, people, bars, like yeah. the music side of you. Like, just explain what, how, what, how does that connect to you, and how much of it is, is an art and music that connects to your world? Uh, well, I started, I started with the baritone. I, I started with, I started, started with the baritone when I was in fourth grade in Jersey. Wow. I don't know if for every school, but we had to pick an instrument. And I chose the biggest instrument because I wanted to be the class clown. <laughs> I wanted to carry this big old instrument. I, I didn't want to play it at all. I played the baritone. And that's where my love for music initially started, of reading music. Wow. And, um, in West Orange, New Jersey, I went from Gregory Elementary School to Roosevelt Middle, and I played the baritone for five straight years. And I actually became great at it. I practiced every night. I, I that. My dad and my sister used to knock on my door. I used to be playing the baritone and really getting ready for our concerts, our winter concerts, our spring concerts. And as that evolved, I just started staying after class and I joined the jazz band. And then I started playing the valve trombone. And then I started learning about the drums. And then I started learning just about the piano. And then over time, I started going out to Seattle. My grandfather is, was the pastor of a Lutheran church in Seattle or in Fort Orchard, Washington, and my grandma played the piano. So I used to be over there listening to all her play hymns. You, you I, had no choice then. <laughs> nope, I was around it. I was around it. I was around it. And uh, 
yeah, there's just a beauty about it, man. I've just had an appreciation since I was a kid and I grew fond of it. And then when you get 